Om Shanti. Just relax as we settle in. We've made time for you, so just relax. Let it all go. The day is over. Let it all go. Let your mind take a rest right now. Just say shh. No more thinking. I am a human being. So let myself be. I don't need to do anything right now. Finally. a few cleansing breaths. Gently breathe in for four and hold and let it all go. Again, nice. Just breathe in deep and let it all go so I can relax. Really relax. I tell myself how comfortable I feel right now. I'm enjoying this quiet space after a busy day. So much to do at ARC. So now, now I relax, feel it. Really settle down. It is my mind. And so it's okay to say, shh, quiet. Rest as I rest and be still. Again, deep cleansing breaths. There you go. Feels good to settle down, to not have to do anything. I'm getting comfortable before the top of the hour, just taking the final few minutes to unwind. I know how to do this. I don't do it enough, but I know how to relax. And then all together, nice, deep, cleansing breath. And I settle in deeper. And as I sit in silence, let me connect with God, the comforter of hearts, because I know I keep God very far away. So I link, I link with the supremely nonviolent parent, just like that. And now I think of God's qualities of peace, love, tenderness, acceptance, And I'm reminded when I think about God that everything's going to be okay. This journey, this journey is only temporary. And I think God would remind me 
not to waste time on this short journey, just this one birth. And what does that mean? It means to enjoy, to be happy. I have to uncover the secrets. I think I need to learn how to focus once again. God is telling me to focus. And as a clinical lab scientist, I learned to use a microscope and adjust the lenses to see things more clearly, even down to a cellular level. And when I look into those two oculars, there's nothing else going on except what's inside. And I focus just like the machine does. And if God wants me to enjoy this journey, when I'm not looking through that microscope, when I'm walking through life, tonight I ask myself, what is my focus? What are the things that I focus on from the time that I wake up until the time that I go to bed? And with all those things that I'm looking at and hearing, what percentage of those things that I focus on are bringing me true benefit? What percentage of those things that I focus on bring benefit to others? And if I had to learn to use a microscope, there would be instructions. And as I sit in meditation, and as I sit with God like I'm doing right now, I would allow God to speak and I would take God's instructions. And that's the easy part, it's just that I've tuned him out. So in tonight's meditation, I ask God, teach me. Supreme Father, Supreme Soul, teach me how to focus. And as a child, as a child of God, now I know it's easy. Just as I've tuned God out, as I walk through life, I don't hear the birds that are always out there. I barely see the flowers. It's snowing up north where my family is. 36 inches, to be precise. Imagine what the focus is there, digging out, shoveling out, how difficult it is. How beautiful it is right now, but in a few days it'll be dirty etc etc I think that I'm the most fortunate person on this planet or one of them I should say never a want never a need everything is taken care of and so as I look forward I see hope I think I've forgotten about hope too and I want to focus on hope I used to think hope was a, I used to think hope was a soft word. I didn't believe in hope. I thought it was pretend, a facade. I hope to see you. I hope for this, I hope for that. It was almost saying that it wasn't gonna happen. And that's why I hope, like telling others it won't happen. Are you coming to my party Friday night? I hope to make it. But as I focus, especially as I'm linked with God, there is hope. There really is hope, and that's what I have to focus on, magnify. Maybe I need a different ocular, 50x, really see it, and go deep. And while I do always want to look forward, I can look back just for a moment in this safe, sacred space. And there was turmoil and things were difficult in the past. And yet even when I look back, things were beautiful in the past. And more importantly, as God teaches us, 
Things are accurate. Things have occurred exactly as they should have. And so now as I focus forward, I don't have to question anything. I don't have to wonder what will be because it will be accurate. And this allows me now to go deeper within and I can start to focus on me. And I begin by gently saying, you're okay. Overall, you're okay. Maybe a little room for improvement, but I'm not so bad. And then I stop because I'm sitting with God and as his creation, his or her creation, I'm a little bit better than okay. I sit in meditation with God and I polish, polish all the rough edges, smooth things out so that I can be better than okay. And I focus within. It's funny how when I think about looking at others, I was pretty quick at recognizing their defects. And I don't want to do that anymore either. As I focus on me, as I become, as I grow, as I blossom into something special, for now on when I look at anyone else, I focus on their specialties and their qualities because others have such specialties that maybe I can bring them out in them by focusing on that. And I often think my heart hurts when I'm not seeing the specialties in others. My heart hurts when I focus on negativity. Remember that chain we spoke about wrapped around the heart, constricting, compressing. Now when I see others as God sees them, I know the answer, there is no chain on my heart. And I don't deserve to have that chain on my heart. Like the tumultuous past, it's up to me to leave the chain there when I focus forward with love and gratitude and appreciation for others, all others. Last year, that wasn't so easy to do. And we know why politics and it's still going on today. I'm finished now. I'm finished with politics and opinion and right and wrong. It's happening as it should. So again, I have to go within more and just sit quietly with Baba, the sweet father. And this is how I reclaim my innocence. I haven't thought of myself as innocent in quite a while, but I can become it. I can focus on that. And as a mature child of God, I know innocence does not equate to ignorance. It's like I've spiritually grown up. And so, yes, I reclaim my innocence. And I see that innocence in others. This is a protective mechanism that I share with myself and all others. I'm starting to see clearer. And one of the gifts of meditation is the clarity. Just refocus. And so tomorrow, when I wake up and when my busy day begins, I want to have a little more quietness, just stilling the mind throughout the day and focusing. I focus on what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing in others, and I start to change that. I know that as a child of God, as the soul that I am, that I'm giving out. And so I focus to give. 
this way I see others as God sees them and I give I give upliftment I don't bring anyone down with those negative thoughts I can do this and I will starting tomorrow I feel better already I like returning back to me that child of God I really do it's the safest place there is and so I will no longer forget God I will no longer forget to close the door to waste thoughts I will no longer forget to tune out the world and I will no longer forget to go deep within safe sacred space and there I take refuge and there I take refuge I got it my focus it'll take just a little work but it's okay I have the time to do this since I'm no longer wasting time and as we close out just as we began let's just sit in silence together just for three minutes but as I do I link with God thinking of God's qualities again supremely nonviolent loving generous protective and I accept those qualities so let's begin together let's explore silence and sit with God just for a few minutes so breathe in and completely unwind let it go Shanti. I say Om Shanti because I am a peaceful soul. And I remind myself of that as well. Om Shanti. As I'm focusing tomorrow and throughout the week, I'll say Om Shanti a little more often just for that reminder so I can focus on that peaceful soul that I am. Thank you for joining. Om Shanti and good night. <laughs>